Welcome back. We are cooking up a breakfast skillet today. And the main reason I want to do this is I really want to get a little bit more used to using my cast iron skillet. And so I am making this recipe and I might end up putting it in some tortilla shells, making burritos out of it. We shall see. Now I was going to put oil in first and I totally spaced. So right off the bat, we're off to a, a great start. All right, better late than never with the oil. Oops. Now I have to be careful not to touch this pan. So this is sausage that I actually bought at the store. Now, if you've been here before, by the way, if you haven't, welcome, I'm Carrie. This is Keep It Simple DIY. If you have, you might already know this, but I've been making my own sausage. So this is actually sausage that I got from the store. It was on sale, so I figured I would buy some, and then I'm planning to use it today to make the skillet. So I've got this separate out a bit. I am just going to let it sit there now and just cook. And while it's doing that, I'm actually going to add in some sauteed onions. And I think two is good. And we'll add a little bit of our spices. Now I am going to be adding eggs, potatoes, sausage, and cheese to the skillet. And right now I'm just adding salt and pepper and then garlic powder. And the potatoes that I'm using are actually canned potatoes. And these are canned potatoes from the garden. So at the end of the 2022 garden season, is that right? No, when I harvested 2023's potatoes, I canned up the rest of 2022's potatoes so I would only have the new potatoes in the fridge, if that makes sense. But I need to drain these and then I need to dry them off really well because that is the trick to getting canned potatoes to crisp up. So we drain them, rinse them, dry them, let this cook, and then we'll continue on. Sausage is now brown. Some bits are better than others. There's a really nice, there's a really nice brown bit. Oopsies. I'm going to take this out and then throw the potatoes in. Now I need a little bit more practice with this because all of the brown bits on the bottom, those are great flavor. And I know a lot of times you would deglaze a pan now and I don't have something that would deglaze it that would go in this dish. So I'm a little confused on what to do there. That piece could probably use a second. So leave your tips below. What are the tips for the stuff on the bottom of the pan that I want to get up? I know if you leave them there, they're supposed to be able to come up really easily, but I also forgot to put oil on part of it. I don't know. Okay, I'm hoping this is just going to work out well. I wonder if I add oil to this, if everything will still be good. Yes, okay, adding a good glob of oil and then we will add in our potatoes. We only lost one potato, so we're doing good. All right, salt and pepper, and I'm going to let those sit there for a little bit because I want them to get nice and crispy. I've turned the heat up pretty high because I want these to get crispy. And I'm hoping I don't burn all the other bits with it. There we go, there's some nice crispy areas. Alrighty, I think I'm going to call it. Throw these over here and then we will add in the eggs and we are rounding the corner. So I don't know what to do at this point. Like what should I be doing to get all of this off? Let me know down below. I'm very confused by that. But I am going to just add in the eggs because that's the only thing I can think of doing right now. I don't want to add water to deglaze it because water and oil do not mix. Okay, those eggs are just about done, so I'm going to add everything else back in. And I will mix them all up.
And I'm going to add some cheese to the top. I have Colby Jack and cheddar, and I'm going to use a little bit of both because one of them's almost out and I want to use it up. I just turned the heat off. I want to let the residual heat melt the rest of the cheese and I am just going to do a quick little a topper of cheese on there. And just for added presentation, we will add some parsley. Okay, it turned out great, looks great. Not sure how I'm going to do with cleaning the pan, but I do want to give this a little taste test. See if I can tell any difference between being in this pan versus the pan I usually use, which is just a nonstick pan. Mmm. It's delicious. I can't say that there's a big difference. I do know I could have let the potatoes get a little bit crispier, which I was able to do in my other pan. So I think it's just a learning curve thing. I know I can get things really crispy in here. I just need to learn how. But anyways, please leave your tips and tricks down below for me. I definitely need help with this. I'm going to roll these into some burritos. I know my husband will be thrilled. With that, and if you're interested in other burrito recipes, I will leave some linked right here for you. And I have tons of other recipes and I'd love to see you stick around. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.